Hey, welcome back, week seven. Um, and gonna tell you another story. Um, interestingly enough, this one's mine. I was a laboratory manager um, for a study dealing with HIV AIDS associated dementia. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but there are ways that the HIV virus affects the mental capacity of someone, and we were trying to figure out exactly what was going on with that. It was a great job. It was an awesome honor opportunity, and it was far beyond anything I ever expected to be able to be doing with just the BS in biology. Um, it was a job that directly contributed to the good of the world. It was going to solve a problem it was going to bring a blessing to others. We may not have cured AIDS, AIDS that wasn't really what we were working on, but we would have helped with one of the symptoms of AIDS and it would have had direct applica application to other forms of dementia. I had a true sense of purpose at that job. The work environment was amazing as well. Um, my boss, encouraged my professional development, gave me opportunities far beyond my education level, probably far beyond my skill level. Um, I was, it was a place I could have thrived. Um, and I am, I, I only have a bachelor's in biology and I can actually reference back to that at one point, I am like the third author in a published article in the Journal of Neurovirology. It was awesome. Let's just say that. But I struggled to actually do the job. It was hard for me physically. Some things you may not know about me is when I was a young kid, um, 18 months old, I had meningitis and it left me a little bit, let's just say, scarred. Um, <laughs> and not, not, not emotionally scarred, but just, just, I had a limp I'm, and not an actual physical limp, but um, I'm deaf in one ear completely, I think. And my balance has been off my entire life and my coordination was affected because of my coordination because of my hearing my speech has always been um, somewhat of a challenge to me um, I had speech therapy for a substantial portion of elementary school the fact that I am making I don't know my career is one that speaks at people um, these days is kind of ironic to that but with this particular job, we were doing micro dissections. It was my job to do a micro dissection in somewhat of a clean lab situation. It wasn't um, completely clean lab, but we would use hoods and um, gloves and masks and all that kind of stuff to do dissections and dissect out um, things. And the dice and it was dissections through a microscope so it was small enough that it was just on the cusp of my coordination ability whether i could do the job or not was right at the level of, of what i was capable of i would probably because of just my attitude i can do anything um that's kind of a, has been a challenge for me in my life my attitude i thought i could do it my my boss probably would describe it it was just beyond my reach and when I failed to dissect properly it um, it wasted two weeks of work it wasted um research so failing just was was very significant I had to cope with that I didn't cope with it well um so the job, my physical abilities, and my inability to do the job as well as I wanted to really, really affected me emotionally and even physically. And I had to move on from that job because I couldn't 
do it. And that was a significant thing for me to admit. What happens when you can't complete good work? Whether that's through a physical disability, whether that's through what we're facing right now, um, a crazy pandemic that's keeping us in our homes, whether that's through a financial crisis and maybe a economic depression, whether that's through just retirement. What happens when you can't complete good work? That's what we're going to look at this week. We're going to look at the effects of sin on work. <laughs>